Hey, what's up guys? It's Mark here of Driver67. So today I'm going to show you guys how to adjust the parking brake of the MX-5 ND, so fourth generation. Well, the first step is to remove the shift knob. So if you've got a manual transmission, easy, just unscrew it, which it takes like 50 turns to take out. It's a lot of turns just to remove this shift knob. Anyways, I loosen it up already. So it should be, oh, there we go. Uh, should be out. All right. So you gotta remove the shift panel first, and uh, this is uh, you gotta be gentle with everything here. So uh, basically, these panels you gotta pull it straight up. So do not pull it sideways or anything like that. Just straight up. Uh, with the manual transmission, it's kind of easy where this shift boot is. So uh, just kind of dig your fingers underneath and pull the back here up first, and before you start manipulating the front here and pulling the front ones up. Uh, what I find might be helpful if you shift the shift knob into fourth gear, uh, so there would be more slack on the rubber boot here, and gives you more uh, leverage for your fingers to dig underneath and pull it up. So I'm gonna show you guys how it's done. Again, straight up as best as you can. The tabs are a little bit fragile, so it might break. And also do this at your own risk. So I'm gonna shift it in second gear. Give me more space on one corner first. There we go, one up. Let's put six gear. Get a little bit more leverage on the, this corner here. So slowly work it, take your time. Try using this a little bit. Use plastic tools if you can. Um, if not, you're gonna have a lot of uh, scratches everywhere on the trims okay thing I there we go slowly coming up is it coming up yeah it's coming up so what I'm doing right now is with the spatula at the back I'm pushing the side that I pop up down so that way it gives you a little more leverage in pulling this side up so pushing down my left hand and pulling up on the right side it's almost done, isn't it? Yeah, no, it's it's up. It is up. Okay, put the shift knob back in the middle. Okay, so slowly try to lift up as up as you can. There you go. So before it popped up, I was digging my hands underneath the boot here at the front and pulling it up and looks like it I'm pretty sure it's all popped open now okay some resistance I'm gonna figure out what oh something to do on this side oh the plastic trim's not even up yet so it looks like the metal chrome piece kind of separated from the plastic trim hard to see without the flashlight I'm gonna use the spatula There we go. All right, next ones is these two black screws where my screwdriver is touching. Unscrew it. And like so. All right, next piece you're gonna remove is this whole plastic piece here. All the way to the back where this cup holder thingies are. This whole piece comes off together from the top. Um, so you wanna pull the top here up first. So there's two clips underneath here. And it's good to pull the top piece off and also push like uh, this, how this plastic trim here, this goes underneath. So push down or put some pressure on it and then slowly pull up. There we go, and clip. go all right now if you have anything under your um, center console just remove it it will be a little bit easier and after that there's only two more clips at the far back here this is where this cup holder clips are that's located here so pull it straight up again there we go 
Hopefully I didn't break anything. Ow. Now once you unclip the center console and you can easily move it up, do not remove it yet because you have to disconnect the switch for your HMI commander switch right here in the center console. Uh, so just lift it up a little bit. You probably can. Yeah, you can see on camera now there's a, a wire coming down. All you have to do is, I kind of forgot how this works now for this clip. Okay, so you see this wire here? right in front of the clip so the car is pointing this way here's forward right in front of here is a small little tap all you have to do is pull it down a little bit so you can kind of feel it it's, it's a very short tap so it's very hard to feel pull it down and your connector should easily come off very awkward position yeah so pull down Okay, sorry it's not showing on camera easily guys oh there we go just have to make sure you get the correct tap properly so guys at this point there's nothing holding back the console once you remove the connector and uh, have your parking brakes all the way up as high as you can and lift it up see this rubber boot you just have to manipulate the whole console to the point that, ah, oh, there you go, slides off from the boot. And just leave it aside, hopefully it doesn't, make sure you just don't scratch it. Alright, this is your parking brake. It's pretty common to see this kind of parking brake system, uh, which is controlled by uh, the cable, and this is the nut here that loosens or tighten it. So right now, uh, my parking brake is kind of loose, you see, a little bit of effort slack there and then once you reach here it's kind of tightens a little bit or just some pressure and then it clicks so yeah you want to remove that slack right not too much um, so tighten is to tighten the cable and less slack loosen is to loosen the cable and give it more slack uh, but this is too loose right now so clockwise to tighten it It's, I think it's still, yeah, it's still a little bit loose. Tighten it more. I'm not sure if it's a thing, but I think in the Mazda service menu, uh, did it say pump your brakes a few times or something like that before you adjust it? Not sure if that's a thing. I did pump it already, so just rather be safe than sorry. And also make sure to do not over tighten it. A good thing to do is also have your back wheels on the jack so that way you can uh, try to spin your rear wheels to see if there's any drag or not you don't want the brake pads to drag I think this is sufficient small little let's tighten it a little bit more maybe two turns okay slight play you know what slight play is okay I think this is for me Maybe some of you guys don't like the smaller play there, but I hate the idea of possibly dragging the back brakes. So yeah, I'm going to leave it like so it's a little bit of slack here. Um, some people don't like it again, but it's up to you. Do what you want. But this is the settings for me. And to install all these panels back, it's basically in reverse. Well guys, hopefully this has been helpful and uh, thanks for watching. This is Mark signing out.